Tico is playing a huge role. Uh, you know, they have around 200,000 of the over 800,000 customers that they serve are without electricity. So they're looking to get the hospitals up and running. Running Most of those have generators. And then the ports and the things that we, we all need, gas stations, those types of things. And then taking care of individual customers. And so I know people are coming back online as quickly as they can get them back online, but they really have been a great partner embedded in our EOC and embedded in these ERCs as well. So they can tell the crews which lines are actually activated and live so that we don't have any injuries. We heard you say yesterday just how fortunate Tampa is to only be experiencing Cat 1 force winds in this area. Unfortunately, you know, at the expense of our southern neighbors. Can you give us any updates for the conversations and messages that you've shared with those mayors? Yes, you know, just talking to them, letting them know that we're here for them. You know, it's a it's a time uh, I haven't personally been through it to the level that they have down there, but I can only imagine um, how isolated that they feel right now and really helpless. And so we want to ensure that they know that Tampa has their back and we are going to be down there with whatever resources uh, they need to make sure that they can get back up on their feet. And we heard from Police Chief Mary O'Connor and Fire Chief uh, Barbara Tripp about them having crews on standby mm -hmm. ready to go down there. Can you explain in a little bit of detail the resources that the city of Tampa can offer to head that way when needed? Yes, very well organized on the state level. And so uh, law enforcement through the Florida Police Chiefs Association. And what they do is they provide, they say, we can send you anywhere from 40 to 60 uh, officers and then they get plugged into whatever tasks they have uh, to perform down there. Usually it's things like uh, traffic control, those types of things that we can free up the local officers to take care of the issues that they know um, their community. It takes that community knowledge. And then clearly our Tampa Fire Rescue has USAR, which is Urban Search and Rescue. Uh, they have dogs that can be utilized. They have a water unit uh, that can go and, and make any rescues off of some of the islands. And so they are prepared to head down there with a large contingent. And that consists of Hillsborough County, uh, St. Petersburg in the city of Tampa. Unfortunately, just driving around here, conditions looking pretty safe, roads reopening for this area. What's the message you'd want to send to residents here as they're venturing out, trying to check conditions out for themselves? Well, the message, you know, we, we don't really have a lot of standing water, if any, around here. So the message really comes from uh, the power lines, you know, not getting anywhere near down lines. You, you don't have the ability to tell if those are live or not. So you see down power lines, just make sure you give us a call and we'll get somebody out there as quickly as possible. And then just imploring everyone to be safe. You know, a lot of people are going to be pulling out chainsaws and taking care of a lot of these down trees and tree limbs and those kinds of things. So just be very, very careful. If your power is out and you have a generator, carbon monoxide and humans do not mix together. So make sure that your generators are very well uh, ventilated and that they are out away from the home. You can't put them under your pool enclosure. You can't put them by open windows. So you just have to be very, very careful. Well, Mayor Jane Castor, thank you so much thank for you. joining, for the communication and preparedness you provided this city. And, you know, we've also heard from TECO's CEO and president today. They told us roughly 280,000 people in their service area, customers, I should say, not people, because it's more people than just the customers, those households they're providing service for without electricity. About 200,000 of those are in the Tampa area. And now when we heard from the CEO and president of TECO, he said they're not able to make any progress promises, but they're going to be working over the next few days to have power restored to that area. We'll keep you guys posted as soon as we get updates. I'll send it back to you guys in studio for now. Live in Tampa, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay. Thanks, Malik. It's been a wealth of information from the Tampa area. She's been embedded with, with the emergency responders as well as the and, mayor and throughout the, mayor, the storm. Yeah, we spoke with us several times, so thank you for that. And good to see, I mean, already a lot of progress being made, getting that debris out of the way, bringing yeah. in the big equipment to do that. So.